hello i'll be showing you on how to calculate volume of stock pie using autocad civil 3d with your pre-surface and your post-surface you can calculate your volume firstly on my screen i have my pre and post surface in order for me to calculate my volume then i have to import the pre and post into the autocad environment but before that i have to set up my units so you set up your units okay then after setting your units you come to points you click on your points then you come to your point creation tools you click on that then you come to import point and import your pre surface by clicking on this plus sign at the top here add files you click on that add files icon then you select where you save your pre and post documents and you make sure that this your files of type is going to be on the format of what you want to import in which is i have my own was saved as csv so that is why i'm having csv on the screen then i'll select the folder then i'll select my pre surface then i'll click add point to point group in order for me to give it a name to differentiate my pre from my post then i'll click ok and then i'll click ok here as well then after importing your pre surface I would also import my post surface. Still follow same procedure. Click on my post. Then I'll click open and click on add point to point group. In order to change this to post, in order for me to change this to post, and then I'll click OK. then I'll click OK. Now my pre-surface and my post-surface has been imported. Then I'll come to this icon here. I'll click on this zoom extent. In order for me to zoom out the data that was imported. Now you can see on the screen now I have my pre and my post-surface data on the screen. Then after having this the next thing you will do is you create a surface for your pre and create a surface for your post so you do that by coming to this surface here you right click on it then click on create surface and then you give it you give this as pre in order for you to differentiate it then you click OK and then you create surface for post as well. Post and then you also click OK. Then after creating surface for your pre and post, you add the data for your pre into your pre surface and you add data for your post into your post surface. So the first thing I will add my pre data to my pre surface data by clicking on this plus sign beside my surface here. Then I'll click on the plus sign beside the definition, and then I'll click on point group. Then I'll right click. I'll click on add. So I'll select my pre because I'm working first on my pre surface. I'll click on 
brief and then I'll click OK. So I've had my pre-surface data to the surface that was created. Now after adding my pre-surface data to the surface that was created, I'll also do same thing to my post surface. I'll click on the plus sign. Then I'll right click here. And then I'll click on post. Then I'll click OK. You can see now the surface for my post data has also been added. Then after adding both pre-surface and post surface data the next thing is you come to surface you click on create surface and then you change this to thin volume surface you change you give this a name volume calculation volume calculation then you change this base surface to you change it to pre surface and you click on ok why this comparison surface you change it to post surface then you click OK. Then after that, the next thing you will do is you come to Analyze and then click on Volume Dashboard. Then you come to, you click on this icon here, Add Volume Surface. Then you click on Surface Volume Calculation, the one I told you to change the name the other time, then you click OK. Now you can see the surface volume has been created you can see the values here in order for you to zoom it well you just click on this icon here generate cut slash free reports here in order for you to have a large view of what you've done now you can see the volume summary on the screen then you can close or you see the reports anywhere on your desktop. Thank you.